What's up guys, your man Chef back in with another video. Today, we're here to talk about the VA election results. Um, a lot of people been looking at the Virginia govern gubernatorial race and um, for the most part, because of Glenn Youngkin being kind of a Trump Jr. versus Terry McAuliffe. From the start, guys, I knew that Terry McAuliffe was gonna have a rough chance of winning due to just the optics of the Democrats in Virginia in the last couple of years. You had all three members that is the governor, the lieutenant governor, and the attorney general of Virginia. All three of them had some type of controversy that that honestly will be impeachable if it was a Republican or a Democrat who was unliked. Yeah, Terry McCullough with the blackface scandal. You got I, I I gotta be I gotta be completely straight down the middle. If if it would have been a Republican or if Terry McCullough wasn't liked by Virginians like that at the time. He would have got a peach cat, supposed to be insensitive, but we let him stay in office. And that came out in 2018, I believe. So it came out right in the beginning of his uh, governorship. He got elected in 2017. We have Justin Fairfax, who it is amazing that he didn't get me too. I, I was so surprised. He had multiple sexual assault accusations come out against him. Uh, they kept him in office. And then, of course, you had Attorney General Mark Cameron, who had a black face as well, happen to him. He admitted to it because he knew it was going to come out soon. So that dumps the fire right there alone. That already kind of put the fate in the Democrats for this new election. Second, we had a response to COVID. I live in Virginia. Bro, like, bro, it's just like Maxine. I'm, I'm sorry, not Maxine Waters. I don't want to do it like that. Nancy Pelosi, Justin Trudeau, et cetera. Ralph Norton had told us all last year that we shouldn't go outside, we shouldn't go to public events, etc. He wound up getting COVID because he went to the beach and hung out with his family last May in 2020. After he turned everybody else to stay home, he was out golfing with his friends. So he had a hypocritical aspect of him. So that part made everybody mad. And the COVID response in general, closing down the schools, all that good stuff. You know, a lot of people didn't like it, some people didn't like it. Me personally, I understand why he did what he did because everybody else was doing it. But last summer and last fall was a terrible time to be in Virginia. Everything closed. Like, one of the most depressing days was the election results day. And that month of the election, November 2020. Every restaurant closed at around 10 last year. Nothing stayed open past 12. Um, it was just miserable. Like, it was nothing to do in VA other than go to the beach in Virginia Beach. I live down that area. We went to Virginia Beach, that's open always, but everything else was pretty close. Like, it was just a ghost town, and it was sad to see. And then people started to see the greed and profitism of them. Yes, they opened up for the summer to let everybody hurt, go to the beach, spread COVID, be super spreaders. Then when the fall came, sure thing back down and punished the local restaurants and businesses. Yeah, I remember Virginia Beach is a tourist town. But in the fall and the November and winter months, they'll have a lot of tourism. So they need their restaurants and their museums and things of that nature to be open and be able to be at least 50% capacity to keep afloat. They didn't do that. They made them suffer. Same thing with Richmond. The mayors of Richmond and North Nova made them suffer. So that was a huge deal. Uh, response to the riots and protesting, that's number three. A lot of people felt like... It was weird to see them go ahead and tear everything down, all that stuff. That's a whole different issue. I'm indifferent to it. I mean, if you want to take down a slave master statue or a Confederate general statue, me as a black guy, I don't care. However, I do recognize that that doesn't really help the black community in any way. And that doesn't really advance the agenda of black people. It really just is kind of like an emotional thing, in my opinion, unless you're a direct descendant of those slave masters. Not all black people are direct descendants, but that's a whole different issue. And number four is the Justin Fairfax thing with just how they kind of hung him out to dry. Like at first when Ralph Northern was running in certain counties, it was just him and Mark Herring going. They didn't have Justin Fairfax, who was running for lieutenant governor. Because in certain counties in Virginia, those people didn't want to see a black man as lieutenant governor again. Because the last one was uh, Douglas Wilder. He was a Democrat. And they didn't want to see... They didn't want to vote for a black man for lieutenant governor. They took him off a lot of posters throughout the Virginia area. And that was sketchy enough. Then when he got elected, when the Me Too accusations started coming out with the sexual assault, they started distancing themselves from him and said they're going to do an investigation. They started doing all that. And they kind of let him take the brunt of the punishment. Although Ralph Norman had the blackface and all those claims. Now, I understand completely. Blackface is not as bad as sexual assault. I understand completely. 
However, in this 2020 environment we live in where racism and sexism and um, transphobia and xenophobia is all seen as one big crime, it, it did look like they were just like, let's push all the attention on Justin so we can slip away. But overall, Virginia turning red, it was inevitable. Um, it's not much you could do to keep it blue when the experience of Virginia has been pretty lackluster for the last year. And there's not much you can do when you see that your politicians are hypocrites. Now, don't get me wrong. A lot of Virginia Turner Red had to do with Terry McAuliffe running again. You see, Terry McAuliffe, he was somewhat of a eh governor for Virginia. See, governor-wise in Virginia, Mark, uh, the days of Mark Warner and Tim Kaine are gone. Bob McDonald was a crook. Um, Terry McAuliffe was kind of a lame duck. And Ralph Norton was okay-ish. There hasn't really been a great governor of Virginia since Tim Kaine. I know Republicans hate Tim Kaine and all that, but Tim Kaine was a decent governor. Mark Warner was a decent governor. George Allen was an okay governor. Uh, uh, Terry McAuliffe wasn't that great. He really didn't do much for Virginia that a lot of people talk about. It, it's, it shows when you're running for governor, and a lot of people have to look up who you are because they don't remember you being governor. Like, I, I dead serious. I was one of the only people telling people, like, hey, we're doing part two. And they're like, what you mean? I said, we're going to elect uh, McAuliffe to run Virginia again. They said, again? I'm like, yeah, he used to be the governor here. And they was like, what? So I think that also helped hurt Terry McAuliffe because he wasn't rememberable. Like, if Tim Kaine would have run again, a lot of people would be like, yes, Tim Kaine. Tim Kaine won't lose. Mark Warner won't lose. If Ralph Nolan would try to run again, people would remember him for the wrong reasons, but they would remember him at least. Terry McAuliffe wasn't rememberable. So that's another reason. That's probably reason number four or five. I don't know which one I'm on. But overall, Virginia turning red, I don't know if it does much to help us. Matter of fact, I've kind of given up on a two-party system. I feel like we need to do something different. And I know a lot of people keep saying maybe going to independence the way it's the hipster thing. People, A lot of people think that it's just like a hipster, cool kid in the classroom type statement. But it's true. I think a lot of states need to start voting for independent legislators. I think we need to start finding other people that are running, looking at their policies, and seeing what they're about. And go ahead and give them a shot. Because you if you this is what we do every four years. Republican, Democrat, Republican, Democrat. It's been that way in this country for a long time. There's some decades where Democrats hold a stranglehold. There's some decades where Republicans hold a stranglehold. Virginia pretty much did the Republican, Democrat. Then we did a Democrat two times in a row, eight years. Now we're going to do Republican again. And, not, and this Glenn Youngton guy, I don't think he... I, I haven't read much into him. I've seen the commercials and slander ads. I really didn't pay attention to his race as much. And I feel bad for not voting. But honestly, I didn't care enough. Because I felt that no matter what decision we make for this one, that it generally wouldn't really make a difference in my life. Maybe education-wise, stuff like that, there might be some stuff that Youngkin does that helps or hurts. Tax-wise, I mean, Republicans tax less than Democrats overall, but it's not like he's going to let up that much. I, I don't see a significant change. And the real reason I didn't vote is because I, I, I didn't do the registration deadline. I was busy in life at COVID. I had a lot of stuff happened. So, it's been pretty busy. I did vote for the mayor of races, stuff like that. And I'm not doing this video to discourage anybody from voting. But in my opinion, I don't think turning Virginia red is the wrong thing. But I don't think it's something that's going to solve everybody's problems like you think. Red states have been doing a little better during COVID and making money and stuff. So maybe Virginia might not go back to lockdowns and stuff. That makes me happy. But it doesn't make me happy because COVID is one main issue. But what about the other issues like health care, um, school laws, ratification, stuff like that nature. And I don't know who the Attorney General is. I don't know if it's still Mark Herring or some new guy. I don't know how that's going. I don't know how... I don't even know this black lady that's elected. Like, she's the first black woman that would be Lieutenant Governor. Second, I mean, third black Lieutenant Governor in history. I get it. It's the first woman in history. I, I understand all that. But I don't know who she is. We don't know anything about her. All I kept hearing during the lieutenant governor race was two women are running for the first time. So either way, we'll get a woman. 
And and to all the ladies out there, it's not even hate on you. I don't even have that viewpoint of y'all can't do it. Because a lot of men out here are very emotional too, and they spend emotionally, they make bills and laws emotionally. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is the whole race being about two women, that doesn't help me as a voter. That makes me feel like, oh, so we're just going to go ahead and just put this black lady in because she's a black woman. Or we're going to go ahead and put this white lady in because she's a white woman and we need women to be in power. It's like, did we look at what they stand for at all? Did we pay attention to anything? It reminds me of Obama all over again. Okay, he's going to be your president. Other than being black, what do y'all care about? So, no disrespect or diss to her. She might want to be in the good lieutenant governor. Who knows? I'm not mad that she won. I'm just saying in the grand scheme of things, this is what the election basically was. Virginians were tired of the Democrat policies and they wanted to change. So they went red. They said they don't really care for McAuliffe. They don't remember him being governor as fondly or don't remember us all. There's two women running for lieutenant governor. Ooh, let's pick the black lady because progressiveness. And ironically, they voted for Republicans. So all the liberals are going to be pissed about that one, that a black lady is a Republican. That's going to be... I already saw the comments of Aunt Ruckus below on Post. And Attorney General, I don't know if it's still Mark Heron or some other guys. So I got to check that out. But let me know below what you think about the Virginia election results. I don't know if my fan base is from Virginia or in the region. I've seen some people below say he was in the 757 before. So go ahead and comment what you think below. Me and Chef from Off the Dome, sign out.